In today's episode, you will learn how to search for components and how to add existing components libraries in Ultium Designer. Before you start making schematics and PCB designs in Ultium Designer software, there are some very important things that I believe as a beginner you should know to speed up your Ultium Designer learning process. Number one, before creating a schematic or PCB in Ultium Designer, you must know the complete connections of your project or product in advance. As you can see, I have made a rough circuit diagram of a 12 volt regulated power supply. Number two, I must know about the components I'm using to build a 12 volt regulated power supply. Like for example, if I'm using this resistor, then I should know its value, whether I'm going to use an SMD type resistor or through hole type resistor, its footprint, etc. Similarly, we must have a complete idea about all the components. Number three. Next, you should write the names and specs of all the components in a file. It will really help you at the time of searching components. So you can see for building a 12 volt regular power supply, I need a DC power jack, resistor, LED, capacitors, and a terminal block. So I have the circuit diagram and I also know about the components which I'm going to use. So let's go ahead and open Ultium Designer and search all these components. I'm using the licensed version of Ultium Designer, but as a beginner, you can start with the trial version of Ultium Designer. You can click on the first link in the description. For now, you don't need to open a new project. First, we will search all the components so that our time is not wasted during schematic and PCB designing because it becomes quite boring to search for components again and again while making a schematic. You can see the components panel on the right side. Simply click on this. You can also access the same components panel by clicking on the panel button. You can see we have got different panels for now. Click on the components panel. You can also open the components panel by going to view menu and then to panels. Once the components panel is open, click on this button. If you want to make a simulation, then you can select the simulation generate components. And if you want to search ICs, controllers, resistors, capacitors, and other devices, then you can click on the miscellaneous devices. And if you want to search for connectors, then click on the miscellaneous connectors. As right now, I want to search for the DC power jack, so I will select miscellaneous connectors. We already have this long list of the most commonly used connectors. Let's go ahead and check if we can find the DC power jack. Let's check this low voltage power supply connector. Its design item ID is PWR 2.5. Right now, I have no idea how its schematic symbol and how its PCB footprint. To find out more about this item, simply click on this double arrow button to reveal the component details. Unfortunately, this is not the type of DC power jack I am searching for. If your desired connector is not available in this list, no worries at all. You can make a search by typing the name of the item and Ultium will find the related items for you in just one to two seconds. And this is possible due to the Octopart built into Ultium. Octopart is the world's fastest component search engine. Anyway, as you can see, Ultium has searched more than a thousand components. So let's go ahead and click on the manufacturer part search. We have hundreds of different types of DC power jigs. The components, images and descriptions really make it easy to find the desired component. This is the one I am interested in. These are available in stock and the price is also given. If you want to know more about this DC power jig, then simply click on the part number and it will take you to the Octopart website. You can check the prices of different models. You can check and download the data sheet. So after you are completely satisfied with the component, then you can copy the part number and paste it in the file. 
next time if you will need this DC power jack then you can simply search for this part number one more thing select the component which has this IC symbol next I'm going to search for the terminal block which also comes under the category of connectors so let's go ahead and search for the terminal block it has found thousands of different types of terminal blocks so select the one you are interested in in my case I'm going to select this terminal block because I already have these terminal blocks so I'm going to copy its part number and paste it into the file next I'm going to search for the 470 microfarad capacitor this time select the miscellaneous devices write the capacitor value and the voltage now you have these hundreds of SMD and through hole type capacitors select the one you need in my case I will select the SMD type this is the one I'm going to use so I'm going to copy its part number next I'm going to search for the 1 kilo ohm SMD resistor of 0805 footprint I'm going to copy its part number and paste it into the file using the same exact method I search for the 7812 SMD type voltage regulator and 2.5 volt LED with footprint 0805 by the way you will find every component in Ultium but sometimes it also happens that you want to search for a component and it does not appear in the search results so there is no need to panic in such situations you can import a component library created by someone else into Ultium Designer now let's say I want to design a breakout board for the Arduino Mega for this I will need the schematic symbol and PCB footprint of the Arduino Mega so let's go ahead and search for the Arduino Mega you can see Ultium has found a couple of Arduino Mega boards but I can't use them because it has no models this is Arduino Nano and as you can see it has the models which means we can use the Arduino Nano but is the Arduino Mega boards have no models so we can't use these in a situation like this we can import an external library designed by someone else for this simply search on Google click on the github link read the description and if you think it's the component or device that you are looking for then download the zip extract the folder inside this folder you will see this library file simply drag this file and drop it into the Ultium designer it will ask you what do you want to do with this integrated library you have these three options import extract and install in my case I will continue with the install that's it the Arduino library has been added now you can see the schematic symbol and the PCB footprint now if you think searching for the components libraries on Google is tedious then you can really make it easy for you by registering a free account on snap EDA simply search for the component or board this time I'm going to search for the Raspberry Pi Pico 
This is the Raspberry Pi Pico board which I'm interested in. As you can see, it has the schematic symbol, footprint and 3D model. So I'm going to go ahead and download all these parts. All the files are downloaded and now all the other steps are exactly the same. You can see Raspberry Pi Pico has been added and now I can use it in my upcoming projects. In next tutorial, I will explain how to make a schematic and PCB using SMD components and through hole components. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.